Shalom YouTube. We back with another video. This is a sad story. I ended up um, coming across this story on social media. Um, they didn't say too much on social media, so I digged uh, on the internet and did some research for the story. And what I read was just sad, man. Literally, I heard a honk out there. It was just sad. So, it's a, a, a mother of two. She faked kidnapped after killing her toddler son because he wouldn't listen to her. Then cut up and burned his body before hiding his remains in her purse. A New Jersey mother of two. Accused of killing her toddler's son, confessed to police. She fatally struck the boy because he wouldn't eat or listen. Then dismembered his body and reported him kidnapped to cover up the murder. Nakira Grinner, 24 years old, a young mother, is charged with first degree murder, endangering the welfare of a child. Desecration of human remains and tampering with evidence. Um, Co um, Cumberland County, which is in North Carolina. Prosecutors have said the Bridgerton woman initially reported that her eldest son had been violently abducted just after 630 on a Friday, a response team began a search aided by city and state police, prosecutors and bloodhounds from New Jersey State Park Police. The child's burned and dismembered remains were found in a purse and garbage bags at around 3 a.m. on Saturday, buried under a shed in the, in the yard of Nakira's home on Woodland Drive. When questioned by police, Nakira admitted that she hit Daniel because he wouldn't eat nor listen to her, according to a criminal complaint. The complaint said that Nakira admitted striking her child so hard that she left bruises on his face and also said he fell down a flight of stairs after striking the child. She didn't call for help, but placed him on a stroller and left him alone. Sad, yo. Nakira told police responding to the abduction report that a stranger had attacked her. Now, this is the lie that she told after doing what she did. This is the lie. She said that a stranger had attacked her while she was walking with her toddler in a stroller and her infant son strapped to her chest along Atlantic Street, according to the complaint. She said her assailant kicked her and she fell to the ground as the attacker continued to kick her in the head and right side. While she looked up, the stroller, when, when she looked up after she was beaten, the stroller and Daniel was gone. She told police this. Officers soon found the stroller containing only a pair of red sneakers a few blocks away. Nakira's story began to change during her interview with police, authorities has said. Police said the 24-year-old woman also failed a polygraph test with New Jersey State Police. That's where she got busted. Nakira is scheduled to appear, uh, to appear in court for a detention hearing. And that's all that I got so far from the story. They didn't say if she was convicted, if she's in jail. They they were just waiting. But 
um, I'm just bringing this awareness to you guys. Um, it's a sad story. It's a sad story. The devil and these demons know that, th that, that their time is running out. They are trying so hard to ruin lives. And they are ruining lives. And they are destroying lives. They are working. They are. Sin does not take a rest. These demons do not rest. The wicked do not sleep until their deed is done. They don't sleep. And they're busy. Remember, he, he's he's seeking, yo. And he's he, he's walking about here like a roaring lion seeking to devour you, yo. So they, they are out here waiting and they, they want you. To ruin your life. That's what they're here for. To ruin your life. To go in you. To possess you when a door is open. Make you act out on things. And then leave your body. And now you're stuck not knowing what the hell just happened. And then when they feel like it. They come right back in. Because they want it. It's feeding time. They got to feed that energy. To make you do things. It's real yo. Spiritual warfare is real. Their the time is, is, is running out. They got a job to do, and they're literally out here ruining lives, destroying lives. You hear the chopper. You hear the agents out there. And they're out here to destroy lives, and all this wickedness that they're doing out here. You see what's happening in this world. The devil knows his time is short. The time is running out. So he has a job to do, and he's trying to take as much souls and people with him to hell. And he's trying to destroy lives. And, and and this is a sad story. The, that's what I'm saying. That, this is why I keep telling you, Satan and these demons, nobody's holding them accountable for situations like this. This is a spiritual warfare. Demons are in these people, making them do these things. And as they're doing these things, you have to ask yourself, where? Something happened in this woman's life where there was a door open where demons is... Going in and out as they please. You have to you have to ask yourself, what happened in her life to get that way? Where? Where did the door first began? What did she go through to have doors open to go to start dealing with trauma and whatever she was going through to allow demons in? You know? This is what happens in people's lives. Somewhere there was a door opened in your life. You went through things and you have to go to the very beginning. Where did this door, where, when did this door open? What did you go through? What happened? You know, because there are people out here who haven't got delivered, still fighting their demons, still going through, you know what I'm saying? They're battling with demons. Demons is going in and out, tormenting them. They're still battling with their demons. They're in chains. They're in bondages. You know, they haven't got delivered yet. And turn to Yeshua, Hamashiach, Jesus Christ. He will deliver you from all of that. He will. He will. He died on the tree to free you from your sins, to save you from your sins too. That's why he died on that tree, to save us all from sin, to free you from the bondages and free you from all the, these demons trying to be, to, to, you know what I'm saying, to get a hold of you. They, they want to live in, in your body. They are here to destroy your life. Demons hate you. Satan hates you because you have an opportunity to go to heaven. They don't no more. So now they are here to destroy your life so you can go to hell with them. That's what's happening. And we are in the last days and they are not sleeping. They are out here trying to ruin lives, destroy lives. And this is a sad story. And, and, the, and, and the sad thing is, is that you're going to see more stories like this and worst stories that are going to keep coming out because we are in the book of revelation and the devil has a job to do but these stories here are showing you that there is a spiritual warfare taking place and this is what's happening these are what these demons is doing in these to these people's lives they are ruining it and they're here to destroy it you know they want as much people to go to hell with them, yo. These, these are literally the last days, y'all. Wake up, people. Wake up. This is a sad story. And the, and, 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 and the crazy thing is, is that the Most High warned us about stories like that. 
He warned us about that. So when you see stories about family killing family and stuff like that, the Most High already spoke and he warned us about stuff like this already. This is what he says. Every parent's brother, relatives, and friends will betray you and kill some of you. That's in Luke chapter 21, verse 6. It's already happening. You're seeing stories like this already. The Most High told you what's happening when you see stories about friends murdering friends, family murdering family. Yes, this is spiritual warfare. There's demons doing this. But the Most High already warned you. So when you see stories like this, now you have an idea. The Most High spoke. Every parent's brother, relatives, and friends will betray you and kill some of you. Luke chapter 21 verse 6. A father will be against his son and the son against his father. A mother will be against her daughter and daughter against her mother. A mother-in-law will be against her daughter-in-law and daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. Luke chapter 12 verse 53. Brother will hand over brother to death. A father will hand over his child. Children will rebel against their parents and kill them. Matthew chapter 10 verse 21. The Most High spoke. He warned you about this already. He warned you. So when you see stories like that, articles like this about... When you see these stories about family, friends, and, and, and you see what's happening around this world, the Most High spoke. He warned you already that these things are going to happen, especially in these last days. This is a sad story. Stay prayed up. Stay safe. Unplug from this matrix. Unplug from it. But definitely stay prayed up with the Most High. Remember, no weapon is going to prosper. It's not going to prosper when you when you walk in with Abba. I'm sorry. When you walk in with the Father and when you're with Him, no weapon is going to prosper. The Most High is going to take care of you, but you got to stay in prayer and, and repent of your sins. Repent of it. So again, stay prayed up. Stay safe. Repent of your sins. And... As always, unplug from this matrix. Till the next video.